festival this year is the 26th annual North Country Goes Green Irish Festival, an amazing community tradition that really does uh, you know, celebrate the best of Irish food, dance, and entertainment. The festival this year is going to be, uh, going to be held Thursday through Sunday uh, right here at the Dulles State Office Building. And uh, we're looking forward to everybody coming down and enjoying the weekend with us. It's going to be fun for all, and uh, we look forward to seeing everybody at the festival. Um, the festival this year is uh, going to be uh, a huge event. We have uh, we have great artists that are coming in, whether it be the McPeak or the High Kings, George Murphy, uh, Searson, uh, Beautiful Day, you name it, we have it here at the Irish Festival. And uh, it's just, again, a wonderful time for the whole family to come down and enjoy uh, the festivities here at the festival. Uh, we have with us now one of our dear friends from the Irish Festival, Bill Archer. Bill, hey, Sean. Good I'm good, you. thanks. How hey, you doing? Hey, we're just uh, walking around talking about some of the festivities of the festival. Tell us about some of the great things that the North Country Goes Green uh, Festival does for the North Country. Uh, all of the profits that we make get put right back into the community. Last year we were able to donate about $50,000 to the community. Uh, through our scholarships and donations to community organizations. All of our purchasing is done locally, so we help local economy and local businesses. Have you ever yeah. thought about the number of dollars that we have reinvested to local businesses here in the North Country? What you know, we did. Out to be? We did. It, uh, oh gosh, I can't remember. I think it's like eight or nine hundred thousand dollars local, local over, companies and local, over local businesses 26 years of the festival amazing yes. amazing yeah well listen bill thanks i know you're busy but thank All you right. very much for joining thanks us. good right, good See, as we come around, we'll uh, see some of the vendors that we hear, have here at the North Country Goes Green Irish Festival, whether it be uh, Go Green Hair Extensions or whether it be our very own Project Children North organization that we have here in the North Country. Uh, we have really something for everybody here at the Irish Festival. So right now we're at the Project Children North uh, booth, and you'll find really everything that you would want, whether it be sweatshirts, uh, T-shirts, um, various, various items that, uh, that we all want for St. Patrick's Day. Very affordable, great for adults and for children. With me I have Pat Keel, and Pat is the founder of Project Children North here at the uh, North Country Goes Green Irish Festival. And I was hoping Pat would tell us a little bit about what Project Children does and uh, where it started and where, where you see it going in the future. Uh -huh. Well, very well. It started uh, in uh, 1973 in Greenwood Lake, New York. and. Uh, we became part of it in 1983 in Watertown with the AOH. And uh, then the Irish Festival was de de designed to be the funder of it. So it was funded as for, this is the 26th year of Irish Festival, but uh, Project Children North existed for 28 years. And we brought upwards to 500 kids to the North Country for a six week vacation. And part of the fundraiser is that we sell a lot of Irish products here including uh, you know, uh, uh, Guinness hockey shirt, yes. And of course we have Guinness rugby shirts too and all that, directly from Ireland, yes. I want to thank the North Country for showing such support for the North Country Goes Green Irish Festival. It's a wonderful time for us and for your families, and we hope you do come down and enjoy the 26th annual North Country Goes Green Irish Festival.